Welcome to Official News Network. Please subscribe and check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Explosion heard near missing Argentine submarine's last known location. A noise detected near the last known location of a missing Argentine submarine on the day it vanished was consistent with an explosion, the Argentine Navy said Thursday. An anomalous, singular, short, violent and non-nuclear event, consistent with an explosion, was registered, Navy spokesman Enrique Balbi told a news conference in Buenos Aires. Teams from a dozen nations have been searching by air and sea for the Era San Juan, which has 44 crew aboard and was last contacted off the coast of Argentina on November 15. The latest update comes as the clock runs down on the chances of finding the vessel before its air supply runs out. The San Juan has enough air to last 7 to 10 days if it has remained fully immersed since that time, experts say. If the submarine has surfaced or snorkeled, that is, raised a tube to the surface to refresh the vessel's air, since then, the crew may have bought more time. Anxious families have been waiting at Argentina's Mar del Plata Navy base, to which the submarine was heading when it vanished, for news of their loved ones. Meanwhile, ships and aircraft are scouring a swath of the South Atlantic for the missing vessel. Argentinian officials on Thursday briefed relatives of the crew members about the explosion. Overcome with grief, family members gathered at the Navy base sobbed and held each other up. Balbi said information about the noise had first been given to Argentina on Wednesday by the United States. A relative of one of the 44 crew members in the missing submarine is comforted outside Argentina's Navy base in Mar del Plata on November 23. In addition, the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, ORCTBTO, based in Vienna, Austria, informed Argentina on Thursday that its monitoring systems had detected an unusual sound. On November 15, it said, Tuktbjo hydroacoustic stations detected an unusual signal in the vicinity of the last known position of missing Argentine submarine Era San Juan. The sound of an underwater impulsive event was detected at 1.51 p.m. GMT, 10.51 a.m. local time, by its underwater microphones, it said. The organization is set up to monitor compliance with the proposed nuclear test ban treaty and has 11 hydroacoustic stations positioned around the world listening for signs of nuclear explosions. Details and data are being made available to the Argentinian authorities to support the search operations that are underway, the organization said. Balbi said six teams were currently searching for the missing submarine in waters of the Gulf of San Jorge about 430 kilometers, 268 miles, from the coast. The depth of the ocean varies considerably there, ranging from 200 to 2,000 meters, he said. There was no evidence of any attack and no information on the cause of the noise, Balbi said. Balbi said in a Wednesday news conference that there had been no type of contact, not passive nor active with the submarine since November 15 and that the search was in the critical phase. A spokesman for the UK Ministry of Defence confirmed Thursday that a Royal Air Force C-130 aircraft had landed in Argentina and was now a part of the search, as was a Voyager, a refuelling aircraft that helps searches go on longer. It appears to be the first time since the Falklands conflict in 1982 that an RAF plane has landed in Argentina although the UK Ministry of Defence would only characterise it as the first time in a very long time. The Royal Navy's ice patrol ship, HMS Protector, had already joined the search. Russia has also sent Navy specialists and equipment to Argentina, state news agency TASS cited the Russian Defence Ministry as saying Thursday. The deployment includes a ship equipped with two deep-water vehicles capable of searching depths of up to 6,000 metres. The U.S. Navy has sent underwater search vehicles and two undersea rescue systems that could be used to rescue crew members. The Argentine Navy lost contact with the San Juan shortly after the vessel's captain reported a failure in the battery system while the sub was submerged off Argentina's South Atlantic coast, the military said. The submarine was traveling from a base in Argentina's far southern Tierra del Fuego archipelago to its home base in Mar del Plata on the northern side of the country. 
Please like and subscribe our channel for more breaking news.